Hey guys, it's Anna with Anna Travels. We are back at Enchant DC. We were here two years ago. Um, it is a Christmas event, um, a Christmas light event. So pretty excited to be here. Um, we decided to come here more of like a peak time. And yes, parking was insane. Um, definitely pre-purchase your parking. If you pre-purchase your parking, it's $20. If you decide to not, it's 30. There's the line for Santa. <laughs> Well, there's two lines. There's a line for Santa, and then this is a line to get into the maze. I guess Santa is not out yet. Or unless he's behind these curtains. Maybe he's behind these curtains. The Santa line, though, is not. Oh, can we peek? Oh, no. No peeking. Definitely have Santa. Pretty walk down up. I think the line's manageable. I mean, it's not short, but it's not horrible. Unlike the maze line that we're in that just continuously goes and goes. So this year they are doing the scavenger hunt again. So this year's theme is the mischievous, mischievous elf. Eight toys are missing. They're nowhere to be found. Will you help me find them? So, here's the toys. I forgot what the prize was last year. There's the entryway. It's impressive. I feel like they definitely went bigger this year. They still have the stadium all sparkly. One, door two, and no door. Go to door one. Why are some of these not lit up? Like, this one's completely not lit up, but it's one of the bigger ones. I guess technical issues, or they're not quite finished. Found one of the elves is actually lit up. It's pretty cute lit up.
We found all of them except for the bear. But we're both hungry and we want to explore some more. So let me know if you, in the comments if you find the bear and where he was. Chocolate covered Oreos. Oh, is the Oreos right here? I'll take one. Actually. Hello, ma'am. Hello. How are you doing? I feel like there's more vendors. Loaded baked potatoes. Hi, how are you? Bread bowls and hot soup, that's probably popular. A dipping dot station. And funnel cakes. Family picnic area in a kid zone. I wonder if the kid zone just is not really active because it's getting kind of late. Oh, I see. I guess there is like a little area for kids. It's empty right now. But actually, that's pretty good for recording video. Don't want to be a creeper, but I guess if you want to bring your kids, there is a little play area for them. So it seems like the uh, baseball concession areas are open during this event, but they do have a few special little food zones like the funnel cakes the dipping dots um, but not all of the food options are available like Shake Shack no. I don't know Shake Shack might be open I highly doubt it more candy nuts in the capital candy jar cinnamon roll and hot cider Oh, those little gingerbread houses. Oh, wow, those pop tarts are cool. There's also a few of these miscellaneous stands. The first one is a loaded baked potato, and then this little stand is um, bread bowls and soups. And then it just goes back into being vendors. Oh, and this looks like a hot cocoa station over in the yonder. So there are some food options for you guys. Um, not extensive. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna eat here. We're probably gonna find somewhere local. Last year, we saw them, we asked them, said, oh, we didn't get them in time for sale. Well, not last year, but... Well, not last year, but the last, uh, last year. Yeah. Wait, don't Oh, look at these little cute guys. 
<laughs> little gnomes. Nutcrackers. Hey guys, so I wanted to redo my outro because the night of the event, my back was seizing up a lot. So I was kind of in a lot of pain and I was cold. So it looked like I really didn't like Enchant, even though I was saying it was fun. So I decided to like reshoot it now that I'm warm and not in my back's doing okay. Um, I really did like Enchant. Um, I think personally, I think next time if I go, I would definitely go at an off time. Um, because it just was so busy. We went Friday, um, the day after, Black Friday pretty much, at 7.30. So a lot of families, especially probably from, you know, in town from Thanksgiving, want to do a Christmassy thing. So it was super, super crowded. Um, but I definitely don't, you know, don't prevent that from going. Just maybe think about what days, maybe not go on Saturday at 7.30. Maybe pick, like, maybe an earlier afternoon time. Um, but yeah, no, had a lot of fun. Um, sorry I didn't do anything with the food. I just wasn't feeling, I think because I was so cold, um, I just wasn't really feeling like eating. Um, especially there because I was like, Ugh, I'm cold, I'm freezing, my back's hurting, I was grumpy. But the vendors, a lot of good vendors this year. I mean, not that that was bad last time, but we spoke to the guy, he was um, from Israel, he painted coins. We got one for, um, you know, we got one for a gift and then my husband got one for himself. And so, yeah, so there was a lot of awesome vendors. Um, it seemed like, as opposed to 2019, it seemed like a lot of the concession booths, like the regular, like, stadium um, food stands were open. Not all of them, but some of them were open. And it seemed like a lot more than back in 2019. But on the flip side, it seemed like those smaller stands that, like, had... Because I remember there was, like, a... What do they call it? Raclette? Like where, you know, they put the cheese over over toast. They didn't have that station. Um, and But they had a lot more, like, it seemed like they better dispersed, like, the hot cocoa stand. They had, you know, those baseball guys that, like, serve you beer, except for they weren't serving beer. They had a uh, hot cocoa and cider. And uh, I saw one guy, he, he had Bailey's. So I guess if you wanted a spiked hot cocoa, he had Bailey's with him too. So a little bit different in that aspect. Um, I think the only disappointing thing is like, it seems like, I mean, maybe this is being nitpicky, but there were a lot of broken lights. Like even on the big Christmas tree, I'm not entirely sure if you could see, but there was some spots that seemed like they weren't glowing as much. Um, and then there was just a lot of lights that were either broken or they weren't turned on. And and it seems like an event on this scale, you know, like it, I don't remember that being the case last time. And we went like opening weekend last time as well. So there's just little things. Uh, maybe by the time that you go, they'll have it all fixed up. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely recommend it. It was $40 per adult. And I think that... Um, the timing and the pricing varies, so if you go during peak time, you'll pay a little bit more than if you go on, like, a Sunday. Like, you know, at, like, past a certain time, you can get, like, a discount off of your ticket. Um, but definitely check out their website. I'll put it in the description. Um, I'm not affiliated or anything. Just really enjoy this little event. So anyways, guys, I hope you like and subscribe, and join me for future videos, and I'll see you guys next time.